Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Air Displays. This week we are continuing our adventures in Boyfriend Dungeon, so let's get into it! Let's see, what was I- Oh, I did! I'm a doppelganger recipe, that's dangerous. Oh, achievement unlocked! Interesting, yay! Have I made everything? Oh, that's probably what the achievement was. <laughs> Cool. I mean, look at all this extra stuff. <laughs> Did Cousin Jesse leave his laundry here? Oh, okay, that's fair. That's fair. Alright. Tracked all loot, not just money. <laughs> I don't want to turn down the volume. Different soundtracks. More. Higher chance to leave. Hit. Yes, let's do that. I mean, don't get me wrong, the loot attraction is very sexy. But, I mean, let's look at it. Can you imagine Cousin Jesse with cat ears? I can, because I love it. Alright. Um, I have no idea what I need to do next. I think I got to Dunge. But. Hey cuties, how you do? You find Leah deep in amount of discarded clothes, sorting through them for Isaac. Surely you could wear some colors sometimes, just a little bit. Right. I do. Living between black and pearl and after midnight are nothing to sneeze at, my dear. But what about you know actual colors like green or purple? Uh. Isaac looks away uncomfortably. Orange? Isaac ceases on your presence to change the topic. Well, hello. Oh, here it is. Surely you are just drying on some uh, boldly colored clothes. Don't rope me in. Need help, Leah. Have you tried pink, black only? Uh, need help, Leah? Uh... Thanks, but it's ultimately up to him, isn't it? I can't force him. This wasn't even my idea, remember? You said you wanted a reward for a refresh. So buck up. Be brave. You are strong enough to wear orange. I believe in you. Mm. I did defeat my fears of masculinity. Or, I thought I did. And Vincent would hate it. Alright, I'll try it. Wish me luck. Leah smiles and makes shooing motions at Isaac towards the changing rooms. Isaac grits his teeth and marches into the changing room with a handful of colorful shirts. You hear clothes being tried on with slightly panic panicked undertones. There's an ominous silence, uh. then an anguished cry. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you okay? Do I need to bust down the door? Uh. <laughs> Isaac reemerges in the same old clothes. I just, I can't do it. I can't open this door wearing this. It's too much. Sorry to disappoint you both. It's okay, you tried. Let's get over to Matt. Hey, don't be mean to Isaac. You tried. You put them on, you looked at yourself. That's really all we can ask. Oh! I took some photos I can look at later to maybe help get used to the idea. That is an excellent re uh, idea. You are very clever. Hmm. Do you think less of me? Bay. I think you're hot, regardless, and I want you to be comfy. You could have some, like, rainbow cufflinks or something to really drive your dad crazy. Oh, Zach, don't be silly. Let's go back to your favorite tailor and ask about the black and pearl then. Yes. Thank you. That sounds much more accommodating. Yes. Maybe we can try this again someday. I'll work on it. You do that. In the meantime, I'm getting this one for Carlos. He'll love it. I love these little scenes. They say goodbye and head off together, discussing cufflinks and lapels. Alright, we're going to hang out with Jonah, because he popped up first. Floor, let's, uh... He's level 5. Let's jump in. Let's do it. Worst thing that'll happen is I die immediately. I mean, oh well.
Denver is still unidentified because I haven't made it that far. Let's get so. those monsters on the chopping block. That sounded very intimidating. There's a little note on the board. I really want to pick it up. Um, let's go this way. Recipe. Well, I know who that's for. Did you take a break? Absolutely. First, coffee. You know, some older people say the world was better before the internet. I'm not so sure. Universal access to knowledge and international friendships are pretty cool. Hmm. But maybe things were slightly easier for social media. I believe that. How so, definitely. How so? I just feel so vulnerable online now, like I'm shouting from the world's tallest mountain. I want to connect with people. I think everyone does. But I don't really need strangers yelling at me. That's a mood. Even if maybe I deserve it sometimes, I'm probably wrong a lot. Ah, hey. But that's why I want to say things in private, and if I'm wrong, I'd rather find out from people who love me. <laughs> maybe they should invent a social media that just lets you float and soak and not have to engage. Like a jellyfish, you can lurk. Like a jellyfish. Yeah. Jelly net. Maybe someday, huh? He gives the computer a friendly pat and transforms. Would you like to offer a gift? Do I have anything for Jonah? Uh, I do, actually. Let's see if Jonah likes... Heh, thanks. I'll definitely use this. Okay, so it's not Jonah's favorite, but that's alright. At least the media sphere can't touch us down here, I hope. Can it? No. Let's say it can't. Yeah, fair enough, dude. Woo! Stapler! stuff. Uh, not really at this point in the game. Please, a surfboard because I think you'd like it a lot. Oh good. Want to try again soon? Yeah, that went less than ideal. Actually. We still managed to get some stuff done, which is cool. Oh hey, extra love rake. That works out well. Last summer is late summer is so bittersweet. 
Slowly shorter days, cold weather on the horizon, lovers leaving town. Why not go for a hike with me to take in some extra summer vibes? Plus, totally optional bonus wine. No beach, where do we meet? Yes and yes. Meet me at the vineyard. It's just southeast of town. <gasps> I have been wanting to go to the vineyard this entire time. Can't wait. Me neither. So stoked. I'm gonna change though. Let's see. I, I gotta have something that screams vineyard. There, that looks cute. And... Nah, not feeling it. Nah. Center glasses. Ooh, those are cute. Oh, wait. Found it. There we go. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, these two troublemakers. See and hear. Because the colors are complementary, they feel more intense. Oh, like color blocking. That does make sense. Huh? Well, I block in colors in early summer painting before moving on to details. Is that what you mean? Er, no, it's a fashion term. But don't worry about it. Please, go on. Let's get a little more into it. I like to lean on cooler colors for pieces about intuition or abstraction. While reserving warmer colors for more energy or something more physical and social. How does that factor in when considering the season, do you think? Like, take Erdis here. She always looks fantastic, of course, but I think she looks best in warm colors. So I'd say there is spring or summer, but would you analyze it differently? <laughs> I say the warmth is because she makes us want to get out there and slay monsters. I hadn't thought of it that way. I don't know, Erdis, what season do you prefer to wear? Uh, spring or summer, fall or winter, I change it up. Um, what do I like to wear? I wear black. Uh, blacks and reds. So I guess I change it up. Me too. California doesn't have seasons, but we can still experiment with our look. I like to try new combinations of pieces and accessories to explore new sides of myself. Even if I tend to wear the same thing most days. I guess that says something too, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, though I think your creations say more about you than anything you could wear. It's been ages since you made me these gloves, but they're still my favorite. They fit perfectly. They look good. Nice work, Leah. Don't you get warm? Nice work, Leah. Thanks. Gloves are pretty tough, actually. Um. Uh, Ardis, would you mind letting us continue the color theory discussion? Sorry, I love to chat, but I don't have much time until I run to my next meeting. Sure, have fun. I'll listen quietly. Like, nah, I'm out. <laughs> we will. See you soon, I hope. Yay! Friend time. Leah smiles encouragingly as Valeria picks up where she left off. Oh. In nature, I find I often see split complementary palettes, which aren't exact complements. You slip out the door. I want to be there for that discussion. I get up. But I have a date at the vineyard. Wow! Okay, come on. I was going to spin in circles, but I can't figure out how to do that with keyboard. You easily spot Jonah. He waves you over and you start wandering through the vineyard. Hey. Thanks for coming. I know I've been up and down a lot lately. I'm more of a beer guy usually, but hop fields aren't as pretty. I love the view. I love the view wink. And there's wine. I love the view wink. Yeah. Me too. Oh, I guess you mean including me? <laughs> Thanks. Um, well, so, yeah. Uh... He hesitates. You can tell he's been rehearsing something he wants to say and isn't sure how to start. You can say anything. Smell the weight. Dog got your tongue. Uh, smile the weight. He clears his throat, visibly stealing himself as he looks you in the eyes. A while ago, you said something about trusting weapon people because you followed your heart. It threw me in a little bit of a spiral because, well, I wanted your heart to lead to me. <laughs> I think I wanted to impress you so badly, I couldn't help second-guessing my whole life. Bay. Ride the waves, swing moves even faster, swing hits an even wider area. A belly flop. Let's do a belly flop. 
And then you said you wanted to go with the flow, and I second-guessed myself again. Sorry. Of course, it's not your fault at all. I just see how quickly you grow and adapt. It's intimidating. I'm faking it. I'm terrified. I'm trying so hard. Thanks. I'm terrified. Huh? Really? That's even more impressive to see you excel despite your fears. People are scary, dude. I've seen it with my own eyes. From Jesse's barbecue till now, you've, well, leveled up. I love that about you. I mean, not just that. I love all of you. I mean, I love you. Aww. And the, um, physical side is really good too, um... <clears throat> but I guess what I'm trying to say is that I want you to know that I'm growing too, as a person. Maybe not at the same rate or in the same way, but I am making progress towards my best self. So, I hope you could be patient with me. For how long? Same here. I wait forever. I love you too. Um... Same here, I love you too. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm not streaming, I don't know what to do. Same here. Good, then it's settled. I guess we're both gonna be growing for a long time. I don't know what I'm leveling up towards, but we'll find out together. Aww. The way I see it, we don't need to be perfect. We just need to be on our own journey, you know? All I want is this moment, here, now with you, with the world, or, uh, this moment, in this one, you know what I mean. Hug him, I do. Uh, hug. You hold each other in a tight hug until you start to feel sweat trickling down your back. He lets you go with a smile, wiping sweat from his forehead. <laughs> I forgot how hot it can be when you're not in the water. Let's walk. It's all downhill from here to the beach. You stop in at the winery for a refreshing moment of shade before walking through town. Eventually you reach the sea. As soon as your feet, your feet touch sand, you also hear a joyful bark. Mariposa runs up to you and hops, clearly barely restraining herself from jumping up on you. <laughs> I knew it. She likes you. Let's have a swimming race. You'll have to try hard to keep up with us. Come on. Last one to the buoys and then chuck. Jonah throws off his shirt and plunges into the sea, seemingly without a care in the world. Mariposa follows. They both stop and look back at you from the water, smiling. You're both nunchucks. I'll just watch. Wait for me. You're both nunchucks. Wait for me. You splash in behind them, the cold water a shocking reminder that you're alive. You enjoy a long, playful evening together. You have reached maximum love rank with Jonah the Axe. Oh, that's so cool. What a good ending for him. Yeah, that was... that was swell. Let's make him a surfboard.